What up? What up? Oh shit, my bad. I'm yelling. Sorry, my bad. What up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Elevated Music Vlogs, or y'all can call me by my real name. My real name is Justin. But today we're gonna be talking about my new EDC setup for. Is it May? It's May. May 2022. God, these years are flying. Anyway, it's my new EDC setup. Before I was rocking a Glock 19X. I love that gun. That gun truly gives me the confidence uh, to make, to shoot really good. Well, not really good, but uh, I shoot a lot better with that gun than I have any other gun that I've owned. So I went back to the Glock 19 platform, which is a little bit smaller in the grip. And I decided to give it a shot because I have a new job where I'm doing a lot more physical work where I'm bending over and, and stuff like that. Like, Whoa. I was surprised, hey. pause. <laughs> so I need uh, something that was a little smaller. The Glock 19X was way too big. I tried to carry it on my uh, my hip. Too big. Couldn't do it. But um, yeah, so we got the Glock 19. We go ahead and clear it for you guys. Make sure she's empty. And uh, I got a, a I got a couple of upgrades on this thing that I want to talk to you guys about today. But yeah, it started off as a Glock 19 Gen 5. It was a base model MOS. Nothing special. Um, I threw on a Vortex Viper. It's got Ameriglow suppressor height sights, uh, Strike Industries Magwell, and uh, Glock OEM extended mag control, uh, extended slide lock and slide release. I really love those. Those came on my police uh, surplus firearm, and ever since then, I was like, damn, I gotta put that in all my guns. But anyway, yeah, uh, this gun is very comfortable in my hands. Um, it fits great. The red dot is great. I haven't shot it yet, but with Glock's known reliability, I don't believe I'll have a problem, but you never know. Um, I do put my trust in them. I do carry it without without having taken it to the range. With you stupid bitch, you filthy slut! Which I know is stupid, but it's a Glock. Um, anyway, I, I have a Terran Tactical um, extended mag base plate. That goes in there when I'm when I get to the house, you know, to give it a little bit more uh, firepower in the magazine. And then I usually throw a light on there, but it's kind of big and obnoxious, so I don't want to put it on right now. Actually, I have it here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, man, I love the way this gun looks. I was finally able to grab a MOS model. I had a, a Lipsy's Gray exclusive um, Gen 5 Glock 19 that I was carrying for a long time. And uh, it was an MOS model. And uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't shoot that gun very well. I'll be honest, that, that particular Glock, I did not shoot it good. And I don't know if it was because I was... It's because you suck. <laughs> just getting into guns at that time that I owned it, but I sold it to one of my good friends, Richard. Uh, he's the current owner of it right now, so. But yeah, I got the new MOS model. Uh, not the new MOS model, but the, the latest Glock 19 model, which I believe is the MOS model, so. I'm really enjoying the, the aftermarket capabilities that this thing has. I did throw in a 3.5 pound trigger connector in there it's about the only thing i've done internally to the gun but uh yeah i'm really enjoying uh the way it looks how it feels when i'm carrying it all day it's a lot better than the glock 19x like i said the handle on that thing was a lot bigger than this thing uh i did get a little little bit extension here when i put the magwell on there though for sure but yeah the extended controls really work good a little a ASMR for you guys. I don't know if I do this without breathing so loud. <laughs> but, um, the extended slide controls, man. If you guys uh, have never used those before, if you have used them and you want to put it on your gun, it's a very easy install. Literally just pop out the two pins. Take this well, obviously take the slide off first. Pop out the two pins. Um, pop up. I don't know what that piece is called, but somebody in the comment. I have my mat that would have told me. What, what that piece is called, but yeah, you pop it up, and then yeah, that's just the third, the second piece that comes out. I'll show a picture of you know of it, kind of how it works. 
but yeah this the the sites on here you are able to co-witness uh, obviously I can't show you guys too well so I'll try to put a video up right here or somewhere um, but yeah I'm really enjoying how this gun is coming out um, yeah I'll let you guys know how it got, does at the range and also if you're wondering what happened to my Glock 19x that thing got a shitload of upgrades I'm talking about threaded barrel compensator uh, connector 3.5 pound connector um, what else did I put on there that's about it but yeah I'm excited to take that thing to the range because with my the grip I had on that gun the Glock 19x I was kind of able to keep it flat I mean it did move traditionally you know it did move even though it's a nine millimeter it moved a little bit but if I can get that gun to shoot flat man that's the goal so I kind of turned that gun into my range gun and then got a Glock 19 MOS for my everyday carry but thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys clicking on this video. Uh, if you're wondering what kind of holster I use, it's a cheap ass Chinese Amazon holster. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It came from a company called Fierce Defender, but I did buy it on Amazon, so I don't know if it's made in China or not. But yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my holster. But um, yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for clicking on this video. Take it easy. And yes, I did have to cut my regular <laughs> Glock 19 holster so it could fit the red dot. But she rocks and rolls, you know, gets the job done. Thank you guys. Peace.